All right, we're at Memphis Liquor and Wine, and they have a very, I, 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 well, I can't even say I understand their, the way that they have uh, their store set up, but it's, uh, it's different. So let's go check it out. And those with OCD, let's have fun. We're gonna start right over here. Got a little bit of this. You tell me when you see a pattern. Good, good, good one there. I've seen a lot of this. I've seen, I guess there's a, I'm not sure what the, the three pack in this is. I guess it's kind of maybe for a drink. Uh, they do have a lot of Irish whiskey here, uh, kind of intermingled. There's uh, Sean with Echoes of Eternity, his favorite. Just at the Woodford Reserve. Let's see, and don't see if they have any of the uh, the C 293, 293. I don't see any dunkers back there. I think that's a good price on this right here too. So I have been thinking about getting one of these uh, R bags here, and it's interesting where it's placed here. Uh, it's, they got the new and the old bottles, and the new bottles look like they're a little bit more. Oh wait, that's Maker's Mark, so maybe that's just pushed back there. So, going from this to this, and I like this. I like this little bottle. I hate this, but this does look very reminiscent of Stag. So, I got the Mictors here. I got the Sour Mash, and here's a High West. Everybody, everybody's got the Elvis here in town. They got the Screwball. Now we're getting into the Irish whiskey, the Hibikis. There's another big big bottle of that. I'm curious if anyone's had the Dubliner, so that's something I should try to get. Here's old Dominic. We do that here in town. Bullet. Uh, Troy and Laura from Baker Drinks uh, had Sylvester Sloan drinking Bullet, and the video they had this morning was pretty good. There's the Four Roses. And uh, <clears throat> that is a... I like that. I don't think I've ever noticed the <laughs> Monkey sitting on the, I guess they're sitting on the shoulder there. It's a nice bottle. I like it. That'd be a great infinity bottle. Uh, I got the Jack Daniels. I'm going to the distillery next week, so I'll get to see where this is made. I'll take one of the trips there. Let's see, we got the uh, Jack Daniels, the Irish Whiskey, Jameson. I guess you kind of just kind of go through here and you figure out what you want and you uh, kind of go through. All right. Got the Johnny Walker, got the Green Lane, we got the Woodenville. Got that's another one that I like the bottle. Just classic looking. Not easy to store for you, but definitely in there. So Glenn Levitt. Oh, that one's missing a little bottle out of it. I wonder if that's all of them. Oh, maybe it's falling down in there. Yeah, it's probably falling down in there. You got the there's the blacken. There's the Kali I drove past their distillery. Next time I go up there, I'll try to get that. So Here's a Penelope. There's a Doc Swenson. Someone said that they're not making this anymore. Um, I don't know if that was true or not. So I definitely have the Buffalo Trace here. That's a good price for them. I think. I still like that bottle. This is another one. I'm, I'm curious about this pineapple. Uh, not curious enough to buy it, but I am curious about it. Got the Dalmore Brothers Bond. Once again, I'm trying to see a pattern. Is it up and down, left and right? You tell me what it is. It's a great price for the Lagavulin and 8, and the 16 is good too. Uh, I don't have any of this right now, and it's I do have a couple of samples that some friends have sent me, but uh, it's killing me not owning a. Oh, I'm sorry, I do have the the Offerman one, but that, that's a that's going to be at Christmas, or if I can sneak it past my wife. Look, it's Stag, just Red Stag. Bird dog. That's a big old glass bottle right there. I don't have any very old Barton and I feel like I should. I feel like that's something that I should buy and just have as a as a good mixer. And really they got a lot of this Dubliner here. It's quite a bit. So um, there's Valentina's, Blended Scotch, the Royal Club, the Bullet. That's Evan Williams bottle and bond. That's a nice big bottle. Uh, I like that. Uh, this is more of the blue note. Uh, you 
No, I think, is this the toasted French oak? I don't know that I've seen this anywhere. Um, hmm. Has anybody had this? I've been looking for this and I've not seen it. This may, may have to come home with me tonight because I don't think I've seen it anywhere. I was gonna try to take maybe next week, go to the distillery when I get back in town here since it's a local one. A lot of Evan Williams, there's the three cores. They were here in town recently and I missed the chance to go see them. I got my Russell's 10 bottle signed by, and this is considerably cheaper, by Mr. Jimmy. quarter cast this is a great price for this too this is another bottle that I'm really looking forward to so I love coming to this store it's great they uh, they have a lot of uh, really interesting uh, this is gross by the way uh, broken barrel it's another great bottle Green River the doers Japanese oh they got the lucky seven here they've got uh, the uh, can't see the French oak and the workhouse. There's some deacons over here on the end. I'll kind of go scroll down. Oop, I'm sorry. I'm in. Get, she's trying to work and I'm over here talking. i try to go through the bottom shelf here. I don't see any old granddad. They do have old scout. I kind of thought this place might have it. I, I was looking around maybe on the back shelf. They might have some of it. And let's see what they've got here. I'm going to do their top shelf, kind of see what else they have up here. I think they have some stuff up here that we don't necessarily have, that they've necessarily seen in other places. So, we got the big bottle of Copper 12, got more Michters, Irish whiskey. This is kind of a catch-all shelf up here. Uh, a little bit different, I guess, from the other. But that is, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to scroll down here. I'm, I've heard a lot of people talking about this monkey shoulder, and I, I like this little bottle. I don't know. This is tough. I think I'm going to get something today. But I almost want to think that, oh, look at that. more Lager Bull in 16. Just, just tempting and teasing me. So, right, I'll get over there. I'm going to breeze over here and see if there is a section that has, I think they do have there. Yeah, I think they have some more black and there's some moonshine. Oh, look at that. Nice little. I'm, I'm glad to see these gift cases coming up or gift sets coming up. I'm excited about that. I, I love gift sets. I've loved, loved gift sets of all kinds ever since I was a little kid. It was always something that I thought that I would really enjoy. I kind of thought maybe they might have some hidden, hidden different uh, size bottles over here someplace, but no, not necessarily. All right. Well, that was pretty much all of everything they've got. I think for my next purchase, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning pretty hard toward this monkey shoulder right here, um, just to give it a try. Uh, this is batch 27 of this Arbeg, which I don't own any Arbeg currently at, the time, at this time. So I don't know if I missed anything or something I should have gotten. Uh, you guys are always good to let me know. And uh, once again, uh, if you decode the secret way that they have decided to put this stuff in here by rhyme or reason uh, is it alphabetical let's see g no not alphabetical is it maybe it's by region maybe it's by how they like it i'm not sure so all right well this is it i am uh, gonna end the video here